Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to work with clipping masks. Clipping masks are very easy to use. They're very, very effective. But if you're new to Photoshop, there's a little bit of a, dis you know, a bit of a jarring step that uh, might uh, throw you off at the beginning. So let's just get right into it and go. I'm starting at the start here, guys. Just open up Photoshop. Once it's open, click New and then click untitled it doesn't matter because we're just doing a demonstration uh, I'm using web most common but you can make it any size doesn't matter click it there we go open her up the next step to get this ball rolling is we're just gonna create some rectangles to demonstrate uh, the the technique so I'm gonna create a rectangle here and it's filling with white automatically so let's make that into a proper color so let's make that blue for demonstration purposes and then I'm going to create a ellipse tool. So I'm going to create like a circle. Hold down shift to constrain proportions. And there we go. And I'm going to make this one, I don't know, let's make this one pinkish purple. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to move them around here. Oops, no, there we go. Now, guys, the next step to creating uh, clipping masks uh, is basically you just want to get the picture or image that you want and then drop it on top and then I'll show you where to go from there. So let's work on that. Let's work on the ellipse first. So there's a picture of my extremely handsome dogger. His name is Kingston. Drag and drop. Okay, not bad. I'm just going to center it over top of this circle uh, and I am going to place it. Boom. Now that is not obviously what we want the ellipse is what we want. So we want it, the position of the dog. We want the dog's picture to be constrained to the circle. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, on your Mac or your PC, depending on which one you have, you want to hold down the Alt key or the Option key. And then when you see that, you're going to see the, the rectangle and the arrow down. That creates the clipping mask. Now, just left click. And now, all of a sudden, my dogger is inside of that mask, inside of that circle. That is all there is to it. Now, you can hit Command or Control T to change the size, for example, of the, the face. So let's say I want to get more of his face into it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see, what are you thinking about like that? And then I'm just going to pull it up, and boom. It might be a bit short. Okay, there we go, guys. That's it. Hit Enter, place it. That's it for a clipping mask. I'll do it for this other one too, just to make sure that you got the point. Uh, I'll take another picture here. Let's see. Uh, here's some Curdex Media. Drag it and drop it on top. I'll move it on top of that. It's too small, so I'm just going to increase its size. And now it is on top of the rectangle, so you want it this all for a clipping mask. You always have to be on top of the layer that you want to clip it to. So I'm going to hold down Alt. Or option if you're on a Mac like I am I'm on a Mac and oh sorry no you have to hit enter first you have to place the file haha <laughs> totally forgot now you'll see that it's placed now you can hit enter or, or pardon me alter option clip it bingo bango bongo done now obviously we would want to probably work with this in terms of its sizing because we can't really see the the curdex media part that I want uh, and I'm actually gonna have to change the proportions because it's not a perfect image but anyways that is how you get it and that kind of gives you the the point click off of it and then you're going to see that these are perfectly created clipping masks and it works like a charm that's all there is to it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'll be back more with some more shortly cheers